Can you guys hear me good out there? Well, well, should yes. say well. Yes. Uh, thank you so much to Black Lawrence for putting this together. Thank you so much to Peg. Thank you so much to my California friends. Woo. Thank you so much to my Wyoming family for coming. That means so much to me. Uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you to Dean. I am also a part of the new uh, anthology, they said, and it is gorgeous. Um, I'm doing a reading on Wednesday in Los Angeles for it, so it's pick, pick it up if you want to, if you want to. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to read from a book I wrote almost 10 years ago called The Principal Agent that won the Hudson Prize from Black Lawrence. Um, and there's nothing that you need to know about this except for I'm going to speak to Tiresias, who in mythology is kind of a scoundrel. <laughs> kind, of the, kind of the person I like. <laughs> of all the things to lie about, it was never my intention to make it this far. Not that I mentioned the Thames that day, that last day. Not that I purposely lost touch. I've taken all my items to numerous locations, but it's never been a question of what was left undone. Violets, blue violets, the way one walks downhill first. She said, I've never been here before. She had. From what I could tell, there were two types in four directions. But with the situation being circumstantial and the circumstances coincidental, the principal agent became sunlight. The catalyst, wings. Isle of dogs. One needs a scoundrel. Theresius? You and I, we barely knew each other. Take off your jacket, will you? You say she has obsessions. You say she can't remember. These are all things I know. And what about you? There's hardly anything to speak of that hasn't already been mentioned, except, of course, how you've been spending your evenings. Did you tell the experts about that? I didn't think so. Snow on the collar. Take two directions. West is just west. And it never runs out. The aisle. Downstream. The experts say it's where the bodies of dead dogs wash up on the shore. The experts have all the rules in the world. One, watch out for a man in an orange jacket. And two, don't go swimming. I've taken to directions in writing down all persons I meet by chance. Little do they know it's the birds that are frightening and the wind whips every so often. Well, Theresius, it seems you know better than all of us about the violins, the way A minor resonates so soundly under your control. Funny thing, that. Yes, I did send her a letter this morning. Have you, have you been watching me? It's been since September, you know. All the time in the world and the way one can only wait so long. She hasn't been seen since September, and with dreams more reckless than wild, I'd never know where to look. If it weren't Wednesday, if it weren't for this low light or the violins, if the wind could make the saddest sound, all the choices in the world and the way one can only wait so long. In seclusion, 
I expect to think of skeletons and blue violets. I expect my reflections to lead me to a point of remembering nothing of the sea. I tell myself nothing of the sea. And then, antidotes. The sound of melancholy and catharsis, rain on the roof. From what I understand, it's where the bodies of dead dogs wash up on the shore. From what I understand, it's a place for forgetting. The security is catharsis misleading rain. The security is seclusion in an orange jacket. Now, come in. I was actually expecting you. Have you seen the sea this morning? Speaking of, I've been thinking about equations and violins. Listen, Teresius, your antics, they're getting around town. The experts suggest antidotes, pseudonyms at least. Sorry, but I haven't the time to help. I said, have you seen the sea this morning? It's sprawling. One needs a confidant. One needs a scoundrel. Sincerity washes up in boxes. The orange jackets gather them by the armful. It's not, however, a question of sincerity, but more what I have grown numb to in its absence. No one knows which is better. Having experienced the final seconds of the sun setting in the west or having experienced the sun in general, no one knows what to think of the dogs or the birds their bones laid out across the sand. Snow on the collar, take to locations. Absence is just absence, and it never runs out. In retrospect, it was her obsession with chemistry that got us here. No, not equations. The chemistry that occurs from heat to heat, scent to scent, and now in reaction. It was her obsession with the mind, with motivations that got us here with merit and Mondays. It was her obsession with the Atlantic and birds and thunder. The way lightning sometimes split her vision. In retrospect, it was her obsession with chemistry. An easy thought of silence where truth comes in two forms, finality and acceptance. Acceptance is the beginning again. Finality is just that. She has made it impossible as I am made without wings. Impossible autumn, letting loose its brain its catharsis, its misleading security. No one knows which is worse, walking into the ocean alone or walking into the ocean in general. The beginning again or the finality, the agent or the catalyst, the ordinary or the exceptional. In retrospect, it was her obsession with answers that got us here. Isle of Dogs. Fire in the hills, eh? That's actually very funny. She's told me she watches the waves breaking their back at the shore. They have backs, she says, and enter into themselves hour after hour, only so one knows this moment is not the same as the last. It's heartbreaking, really. But Teresius, I don't expect, expect you to understand. Somewhere she is cold and watching
watching the ocean, the world's end in which there seems no other. But seeming is relative, as is intention and temperature, which means wandering, which means ordinary Monday, which means she is preoccupied in the perfect distraction, the sea and all of its connotations.